Hey guys, it's Amy at Zoe Beck, and I'm going to do a book tag today. Um, books I'll probably never read tag. Um, this is created by Little Spider Nine. I've linked her video down below as well as the questions. So let's just get into it. Um, question number one: A really hype book you're not interested in reading, and I'm going to say The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt, mostly for the fact that she wrote The Secret History. I did not like that book. I actually hated that book. And to this day, I hear about people talking about how great The Secret History is, and I just cringe, and I don't understand. Um, I admit it. I It's one of my most hated books of all time. Like, I mean, you know, they have those lists of books that you finished and you hate, and then there's finished books that you DNF because they were so bad. This is all my books that I finished that I don't know why I finished because <laughs> I hated it. I hated it pretty much all of it. And I, I read, read it because, uh, at the time it was, I mean, it was within the first year it came out, I read it and I had friends who had read it and really liked it. And so I was like, oh, I'm going to like this because it was all word of mouth. And no, I hated this. And I told them, I'm like, that was really bad. And of course what they liked, I hated, or, you know, it happens all the time. So I didn't like the secret history. So I'm sorry to say that the goldfinch is going to get a pass automatically from me just because I don't want to read anything more by by that author because I don't like uh, things that have so many unlikable characters all the time and you know that's just not my thing so um so question number two a series you won't start or won't be finishing I will not be finishing the Wheel of Time series probably um I read the first five books about 15 years ago and I did enjoy them. Like they were long hauls because they're huge books. And you know, I love epic fantasy, but I mean, I read like four or five of those like straight in a row. And I think I kind of burnt myself out because I tried to read book number six and I just, I didn't, I didn't really start it. Well, I never went back either. So now it's, you know, so a couple years went by and I think at least four or five years went by and I thought, okay, I'll listen to the audiobooks um, and try to get back into the series. So again, I can continue on. So I listened to the first, at least two, if not all the way through the third book, but I never read the, never listened to the fourth book. So I failed. I stopped again. Well, so that's two tries on the series. I'm, I'm not saying I will never, never, ever read it, but probably will never return to this. Um, I think it's just, it's a big series and I, I think, um, there's a lot of good things to it, but it also, there's some things I don't like, especially when you have to get through a whole book, like book number five, and it doesn't even have your favorite character in it at all, Perrin. And I love that character, and he wasn't in it at all, and it kind of upset me that I read all that whole book. Anyway, <laughs> um, sorry, so uh, question number three is a classic you're just not interested in. Emily Bronte's Weathering Heights. Um, I bought this a really long time ago. It turns out I actually bought this at my university's bookstore. So that means I've had this since I left college. I didn't read it for any classes. It wasn't, uh, anything I was assigned for some reason. Um, I don't know, but I picked it up thinking I have to read this classic. Everybody talks about it. And I, every time I think about it or look at it, I just kind of slide past and just forget about it. I'm just not interested in the story. I know that I should read it because people talk about it and make references to it. And again, that's the reason I read a lot of different classics is because I want to get all the references people are making in books and in movies and TV shows and things. But this one, I just cannot get into. Every time I think about this story, I go, I don't want to read that. So I'm not going to read that. And so it's, uh, probably one I'm not going to get to. I don't know. I, you know, as I said, it's one I'm just not interested in. If I force it, it's just not going to be right now. I just, it might happen. Um, so question number four is any genres you never read? Um, I'm going to go with Westerns. I, um, read a lot of, um, different kind of books. I think I'm pretty eclectic. I think I still veer mostly towards the fantasy side, but I do all different genres within that as well as science fiction. And then I read a lot of, you know, thrillers and horrors and mysteries and um, then again, classics and some literature stuff from modern as well as, you know, literary 
that are printed now. So I think I'm all in, you know, I'm across the board. I read a lot of stuff. But Westerns, I think, is that one section I just, I don't touch on. I, I'm not interested in that fiction. Now, I like it when it's mixed with fantasy. So, like, I just read a steampunk series that was in the American West. So that was kind of cool because it was the American West, but it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, Western-y, but it was with steampunk and it was with magic and um, shapeshifters. And so, to me, that made it interesting and I got through it. So, I just don't think... Um, Westerns as a whole. <laughs> Cooper. Here's my Cooper. Anyway, trying to get on me when I'm on this. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I don't think Westerns are the thing for me. Are you know, at least they're I'm not interested in them right now. So I've I'm pretty much never read that. Um, I do read like nonfiction stuff about the America West or by or frontier stuff or something that has to do with um something real that happened. And it has like a timeline and or how they did stuff or and again, I really like that kind of stuff. And that can be in that time period, but not Westerns as a fiction uh, genre. I don't read any of that. So uh, book number, or sorry, book. I keep saying book. I meant, uh, <laughs> question number five is a book on your shelves you're probably never actually going to read. <sighs> the Ivy Tree by Mary Stewart. Now, I love Mary Stewart stuff. I read a lot of her stuff. I mean, again, she was mostly publishing, I think, in the 60s and then, you know, later on as well. But I think the core stuff that I really enjoyed came from the 60s. But this is one book I will not read. I've read almost all of her other ones. And uh, this one just does not, does not do it for me. Let's put it that way. I don't, the premise is um, one I do not like. Um, it has to do with a girl who, I think she's on vacation and she's at Hayden's wall and somebody comes up, starts yelling at her that thinking she's somebody else. Well, then he decides to talk her into pretending to be that person who disappeared or was killed eight years before. And she does it. And okay, that's in the first chapter. And I was, I had done, did, again, never picked it up again. I I think I, my mom gave me this book as well as several others because she loved these. She showed them to me when I was started reading them in, in high school. And then I continued reading most of these through my early 20s. And they were just fun, gothic mystery reads. I really like this. I know she's also known for her fantasy, but my favorites were always these mysteries because they were a little, had a little romance and had the, um, this mystery was really the, the point of it. But I liked them because they were nice, quick reads. And I always got into the, usually the main characters. I had no trouble with the writing and stuff. But this premise is not my favorite. As I said, I don't like people, I don't like the lying aspect of it. And that was what it's based off of to me, that she's pretending to be this woman. And I, I don't, I don't like that. I mean, I get it in like heist um, stories. Like they pretend to be somebody of high authority in order to break in or get something or their object is to get an object. But to be a pretend to be somebody else who could possibly be dead. I don't know. I just, I don't, I can't get into it. And so again, I've had this, I've uh, tried to read this again back in my teens. I didn't finish it. Um, I got, my mom gave me a lot of her, she found some extra, she had some double copies, I guess. But this is actually printed in 1961. It's really actually a nice copy for that. But I can't, I can't read it. And it's sad because it's one of her favorites of those, but I, it, I, I can't do it. And it'll probably forever sit on my shelf and I will probably never read it. Well, so there it is. The books I'll probably never read tag. Um, hope you enjoyed this. What did you, what do you guys have on your shelf that you don't like? Or what books are too hype that you're not going to read? Or, you know, series you're not going to finish? Or, you know, should I really attempt Wuthering Heights? I mean, is it worth it? I don't know. I, I don't know. Anyway, let me know and I'll talk to you later.